to Tutorial Tuesday. Let's get right into it. Hey, what's up guys? Today I will be teaching you how to do one of the video transitions that I've done in a couple of my videos, and it's actually the door transition. So I'll show you a clip now of what I've used in a past video. We were so close. And yeah, so it's actually a very simple masking edit on Final Cut Pro. You don't need any other plugins, and it's super fun, super cool, and you can use it in many different ways. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So to do this transition, you just need a door or anything that kind of goes from a closed state to an open one. So you can do it with anything. It's super cool. So basically, this is how you do it. You literally just take your camera, put it in the position you would maybe think of like what you're vlogging, and you... walk through the door. It's as easy as that. For the second shot, you kind of want an area where you're going to be walking, so we're doing a walking transition for this. So it'll make it look like I'm walking from upstairs to outside with seamless and it looks really cool. So I'll be showing you how to film that segment next. That's how you do it. You kind of walk, have the perspective from the front, and then look down at your feet and then look back up and you get a seamless transition and it looks super awesome. Okay, now that you have your two clips, you're gonna first want to put the first clip, the door transition, above the timeline. And we're going to be putting this over top of our other footage. Next, you go to effects and type in, and you want to type in draw mask. Drag that onto your door transition clip and then go to this bar up here, top right corner. Kind of drag the cursor, it kind of, it's different for each shot, but we're going to start ours where both are kind of open. Bring your size to 50% and draw the outline of the doors. Now press original. Okay, this is this part of the process is very important. Make sure position, rotation, scale, and control points, all of these keyframes are pressed. After you have pressed all of these, make sure fill opacity is pressed as well. And Feather and fall off, we will figure out after. Now I'll go backwards, frame by frame, and line up these lines to the edges of the door. And the more careful you do this, the better the transition will actually look. So take your time if you want it to look nice. After you come to this part, um, the door is going to be covering your mask and you're going to press go to the beginning of the or actually you're just going to press fill opacity and bring that down to zero percent go to the frame where it opens and bring it to 100 make sure it's 100 when it's open and zero when the door is covering the opening Now follow through and just do that to the other sides of the mask. There, now that you have your mask complete, it looks pretty good. And here comes the next step. So after you've completed your whole entire mask, done the transition, you press composite and then invert mask. And then you can see it's pretty sharp right now and you can adjust the feather and fall off. It's different for each transition so it's up to your uh, discretion how you want it. It turns out, it turned out pretty well to be sharp. 
Maybe some fall off would be nice. And there you go. As you can see, it's pretty smooth. It looks a little bit jerky, but we can fix that up pretty sweet, pretty well after this. You make this a compound clip now, after you've finished your transition, and you can now speed ramp it by pressing Shift B and just adjust it to the speed you want it. And yeah, fine tuning it is really up to you. It's, it's how you want to make it kind of work, but it just works very well. And there you go, that's how you do it. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. It's really a versatile transition. You can use it in many different ways. Uh, I would love to see your guys' transitions. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Live and we're together.